What are you guys cooking? What is that? Deep in the heart of New York City, away from all the tourist hangouts, past the criminal courthouse, only blocks from City Hall, lies the exotic and sometimes overlooked neighborhood of Chinatown. Chinatown is a sprawling collection of restaurants and markets that add so much character to an already interesting city. Most of Chinatown shuts down after the workday ends. At least one restaurant, however, is open 24 hours a day, and they have been doing it for 66 years. One thing, one thing that you need to know about Wohop is Wohop is, is your, your word of mouth, it's your, it, it, it runs through pretty much um, a co what you're going through right now in college. People are coming in from Rutgers, people are coming from, from all over, any neighboring school there in New York City, they know about Wohop because it's 24, they close for a half hour a day to clean up a little and, and then they're back on. So people learn learn about Wohop from the inebriated state of 1 to 5 a.m. And then they carry it on. That's where the legend starts? That's where the legend starts. And then as you move through life, by the time you're in business and you're working in the, in the general area, then you're resorted to lunch. Uh, I first came here almost 40 years ago when I started working as a lawyer. My first uh, job was at the U.S. Attorney General's office on 80 Center Street, which is right around the corner. And I used to go with a few of the um, assistant attorney generals who introduced me to this place. And I've been coming here pretty consistently when I've lived in, in the New York, New Jersey area, on and off for almost 40 years. Wo Hop is located on Mott Street. And besides having a die-hard following and excellent food, it is perhaps the best physical representation of New York City in a restaurant. The draw, yeah. um, one, you have to come downstairs to be here, which helps out a lot. You know, any hole in the wall, anything that is a tradition, you have to, it has to be hard to find. There's a wall hop upstairs. That's for tourists, right? The unknown person is going to walk in, the, the un, uninform, uninformed is going to walk up there. The person that knows and is taught right and told is going to find downstairs. The food, the food is different from there. Is it the same kitchen? No. Well, Italy, Little Italy has, Mulberry Street has, you know, rumored one kitchen for the entire block. <laughs> Sixth six Street with all the, the Indian food. One kitchen. Ma is the same, same myth. So if there's one for the bottom and one for the top, I don't know, there's one for the whole block. Hey, what's up? Oh, yeah. So, almost, so over 10 years. Really? Yeah. 10 years. Uh -huh. Why would you want to work in this restaurant? I'm sorry? Why would you want to work in this restaurant? You know, why, why this restaurant? Oh, I'm working over here, so I'm very happy. Oh, all right. All right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. My uncle yeah. used to hang out here 45 years ago. 45 years ago? Yep. And just recently, he had mentioned to me, like, you know, this great place in Chinatown. And, uh, you know, we, we just, the two of us just realized it was Wohop. I knew, I know it well. My daughter learned to use chopsticks in this place. Oh, yeah? When she was about four years old, what they did was they took the chopsticks, the, the folks here, put a napkin between them and a rubber band so it operated like a fulcrum. And it was like pincers, and she's actually learned to use them when she was four years old, she was eating with chopsticks. And he, he knows You've well been going from here back before. then. You know, I've, we've been coming here for maybe the last five, seven, ten years. Seven, ten years, yeah. Friends I met, they told me about Wohop. And the sad part, I guess, for me is that I know these guys, the waiters and stuff, through like four different friends. I was here with like on Thursday with one friend, on Saturday with another friend. Oh, and one, you know, it's like whenever I hang out with them, they want to come to Wohop, and I'm the guy that ends up coming with them. <laughs> So, as I said, the first time I ate the noodle dishes here, this place is fantastic for noodle dishes. I was hooked on it and uh, 
I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Taiwan, I've only been in one or two places where the noodle dishes were comparable. In my opinion, yeah. Scary, huh? <laughs> but there, you come for because the food is great. And you know? is hot and sour soup your favorite thing to get there? Hot and sour and the, the chow fun. That's what they're known for, the chow fun. Shrimp, chicken. Not only can you get an authentic, comforting meal at any hour of the day, but you also get to enjoy it sitting in the same room with such a diverse crowd. Would you feel proud just to be here? It does the heart good to know there are places like Woha.